And for this final example, we're talking about a pizza parlor franchise. Um, it specifies that the average amount of cheese on a pizza, a large pizza, should be eight ounces and has a standard deviation of 0.5 ounces. So again, our mu, which is our average, is eight, and our standard deviation is 0.5. So we wanna find the probability that a pizza chosen at random has less than 7.3 ounces of cheese. So we take the probability that X is less than 7.3, which, we take our X score and turn it into a Z score. The value minus the mean over the standard deviation. Once we calculate that, we get Z is less than negative 1.4. And if you go to your chart for negative 1.4, and then the column that's 0, 0, this is going to give us 0.0808. Right, so having a large pizza with less than 7.3 ounces of cheese happens about 8% of the time. Next, we wanna find the probability that a pizza has more than 0.895. So we're looking for the probability that X is greater than 8.95. <clears throat> and since we're looking to the right, so we're looking at a greater than statement, we have to convert it to a less than statement first. So we can look at one minus the probability that X is less than 8.95. And then we take our X statement and turn it into a Z statement. So we convert it from X scores to Z scores. So looking at the probability that Z is less than 8.95 minus eight over 0.5. So one minus P of Z less than, and that gives us 1.9. And so if you go to your chart for 1.9, you see that it's going to be 0 0.9713. And one minus that gives us 0 0.0287. So you have a higher probability of having a pizza with less than 7.3 ounces of cheese than to get a pizza that has more than 8.95 ounces of cheese. Just looking at these two numbers here. This is a higher probability than this happening. Next, we're, we wanna find the probability that a pizza contains between 7.6 and 8.3 ounces of cheese. So we're looking for the probability that our cheese is between 7.6 ounces and 8.3 ounces. And we're first going to take everything and convert it to Z scores. So that's gonna be the probability 7.6 minus eight for 0.5 less than or equal to Z, less than or equal to 8.3 minus eight, by 0.5, which once we convert it to Z scores, we get negative 0.8 and positive 0.6. Now, since we are looking in between, remember that we first find the probability that Z is less than or equal to the larger one minus the probability that Z is less than or equal to the smaller Z value. All right, so if we go to our chart for this first one, we should be getting 0.7257. And for the second one, we should be getting 0.2119. And then you take the difference of the two, gives you 0.5138. Next, we want to find the probability that a pizza has exactly eight ounces of cheese. Probability that X equals eight. Well, if you think back to our discussion at the end of 5.1, the area of a line segment is zero. So the probability that you randomly select a cheese pizza that has exactly eight ounces of cheese is probability zero. 
does not mean that it cannot happen. It just means that it is very, very, very unlikely that it will happen. So this next part is saying, what is the least amount of cheese that can be on a pizza that will still place it in the top 10% of cheesiest pizzas? So we're looking to find what value for y will give us this equation here, right? So top 10% of cheesiest pizzas since our z-score table tells us things to the left, so only less than statements, we'll first have to convert this statement into a less than. So the probability that x is less than y has to equal, <coughs> well, these two probabilities have to add up to one, and this is 0.1, that means that this has to be 0.9. So if you start looking through your chart again, like what we did with the percentiles and quartiles, the closest we're going to find is 0.8997, which this is going to happen when z is equal to 1.28, which allows us now to set this up. So y minus 8 divided by 0.5 is equal to 1.28, and we solve for y. So multiply both sides by 0.5, gives us y minus 8, and Six, four. And then we add 8 to both sides and we get y equals 8.64. Right, so if your pizza has 8.64 ounces of cheese or more, then it is in the top 10% of cheesiest pizzas. And finally, we want to find um, two values for which the middle 70% of cheese pizzas lie. All right, so we're going to first draw a picture of the standard, standard normal curve as such. Right. And we know that we want the middle 70%. Right, so right here in this shaded region is 70% of the, all the cheese pizzas. Which means the remaining part, so over here and over here, has to make up the remaining 30% of the area. And so what we'll do is we're just going to find the positive z-score, right? Because this thing is symmetric. You can find either the negative z-score or the positive z-score. They're going to be the same thing, just with different signs. We're going to find the positive z-score. So notice right here, the area in just this region by itself is 15%. And 15% of 1 is... 0.15. So we want to find the y value so that this is 0.15. And now we just do exactly like what we did for part 5. This is the probability that x is less than y is equal to 0.85. We look in our chart, the closest we can get is 0.8508, which that has a z-score of 1.04. And so we know that when you are 1.04 standard deviations below and above the mean, that is going to be 70%, uh, the middle 70% of cheese. Right, so on the low side, we have 8 minus 1.04 times 0.5 equals 7.48. And on the upper side, we have 8 plus 1.04 times 0.5, which gives us 8.52. Right, so the middle 70% lands between here and here, number ounces of cheese. 
think back to the empirical rule as well. 70% is very close to 68%. 68% for a normal distribution, for a symmetric distribution, is one standard deviation below and above the mean. Over here, 70 is larger than 68, which means that our z-score should be a little bit larger than one standard deviation away, which our z-score is 1.04 standard deviations away. So that's pretty close to 68. That's pretty close to 1.